So, uh, hi, I'm Howard. Didn't catch your uh, name. I'm Will. 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 Very nice to meet you, Will. So, first, first things first, tell us a little bit about this engine that you have here. Um, this is a Steam Traction World kit built engine, built by the Steam Apprentice Club. Um, the members, young members from any age up to 21, um, put it together. And Steam Traction World, it's a company down in Daventry, they supply these kits quite a lot. Um, it's their business. And they make the parts, manufacture them, and send them to us, and we just bolt them together. Brilliant. It, it took two years from about 2012 up to 2014. Um, and the release was at the Bedford Road Run for the N National Traction Engine Trust 60th anniversary, which is the um, parent organisation of the Steam Apprentice Club. Fantastic. And that was its debut. So Brilliant. And so, um, how was the youngest member of your club? I'm not sure how old they are now, but when they joined, <laughs> they up, joined yeah. when they joined up, they were a few weeks old. Youngest we allowed to go on driving days, which would effectively be the useful age. Um, it's about six, I think. Oh wow! That we take them on. Oh wow! Okay, um, and yeah. take them to driving days, which yeah. we hold around the country, and yeah. you can drive the full size engines at those. Well, can you just talk us through a few of the controls that you've got on here then? Yep. Well, this is the regulator. Um, basically, you won't, you push this lever forwards, a valve moves in the cylinder to let the steam into the piston and away you go. So it's basically like a throttle. Okay. Um, this is the reversing lever because unlike a car, on a car if you put it into reverse, you're actually adding a second gear Indeed. into the into the mix. On this, you make the engine turn in, in the opposite direction. Okay. So you've got a what's called a slide valve on this side of the cylinder. Yeah. Um, and when you put the reversing lever backwards, it lifts up this contraption you can see here. Yes. Yeah. Um, and basically, that means that the slide valve moves in the dif in a different way to allow the piston to move backwards. Okay. So. And then this is the actual gear change mechanism itself. So you've got bottom gear and top gear. Um, we tend to stick to bottom gear on ground like this because of how rough it is. Um, and then top gear is for when you go on to the road. And then can you can you start out in top gear or do you have to start out in you, bottom gear and then change to top gear? No, you have to start out in top gear if you want to be in top. You can't change gear in the midst of no, uh, in mid flow. No, you have to stop to change gear, put the brake on, and take, take you, it out. You of put gear. your hand down here yep. and said put the brake on. This, so this is obviously a brake then. I'm learning a lot by the way right now. This is very good. Thank this, you. Yeah. This is the only yeah. brake that a steam traction engine has. Okay. It's the parking brake. You only put this on either in an emergency or when you're parked up. If you change a gear, then you have to have this on because you have to take it out of gear and then flick this little piece of metal here. Um, and then that allows you to put it into top gear. But whilst you're doing that, you're out of gear. If you don't have your brake on, it could roll away. So how does that brake work? It's literally, there's a band on one of the um, gears for the for what we call the second shaft because that's what this is here it's the second shaft of gears and this the band as you wind the brake on it gets tighter on that shaft understood yeah so it's a it's a, a traditional sort of uh, friction brake then yeah basically. And then this is steering i'm guessing yep it's um okay. chain steering so you've got chains on the front axle yeah they go to a shaft as yep. you turn this it turns that shaft pulls the chain round. It must be difficult to steer when you're sat still. Yeah, it is, yeah, a, yeah. It is a bit difficult, but, yeah. and then up the way it obviously pulls the other side. Fantastic, and then there's, you've got quite a lot of other little switches, yeah. dials and knobs in here, so, so yeah. what else have you got? Well here you've got the drain taps, which they're basically, if you've got water in your cylinder, you don't want that, so that allows the water to escape. And then once you're going and you've got rid of all that water and it's just steam going in, you close them and it stops that jet of steam coming out 
down near the bottom of the boiler. Okay. Um, you've got your gauge glass here, which obviously tells you where the water is in, in water the boiler. Water levels, yeah, okay. And that tells you where the water is between the top of the boiler and the top of the inner firebox. Okay. Um, you have an inner firebox because you've got a water jacket round that inner firebox, more efficient way of heating the water. If it goes below the top of that inner firebox, you've got what's called the fusible plug, which is a safety mechanism. If the fusible plug drops, then it releases all the pressure. The fire, you take the fire out, and you know that you've not got enough water. Right. And okay. it basically prevents it from exploding. Yes. And becoming dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Then here you've got the water pump, which connects to the motion so as the engine's turning round it pumps water into the boiler from the tank in the tender but you've also got these valves here which operate the injector which is down on this side okay which is right down here yeah um you turn this lever turn i think it's this dial and that injects water using steam into the boiler from the tender okay so and That's absolutely magnificent. Mo all of these are sort of to do with the injector. Well, I will, I will, I will, one, I will say I've, I've learned an awful lot. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome. That's brilliant. And just, just, just remind us, what was the name of the um, of your association again? It's the Steam Apprentice Club. Um, we're a junior section of the National Traction Engine Trust, trying to get more youngsters involved in the world of steam. Yeah. The old boys who run it at the moment, they're not going to last forever. Oh, you're a meanie, you're a meanie. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah. But you're keeping, you're it, keeping it alive, it's brilliant. Yeah. It's really, this is absolutely <laughs> beautiful. So thank you again, thank you again. Absolutely yeah. magnificent, brilliant interview. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.